This first test is on a standard box top motor with a single shaft. As you can see, the RPM is topping out at 14,778 RPM. Here I am modifying an AR chassis to accept a double shaft motor for testing. Except I did not trim the chassis properly, so there is some friction on the motor shaft. You will see in this test that the motor RPM is only up to 23,570 RPM. So I fixed the problem by trimming the chassis a little more so it does not touch the motor shaft. This time without the friction, the RPM reaches 24,473 RPM. is too fast for the reflective tape, the tape flies off the wheel. Also, that motor was a cheater motor, because it was modified to look like a box stock motor, except it is not a box stock motor. Not even inspection can tell this motor is not a box stock, because there are no signs of tampering on the outside of the case. Next, we will put in a real box stock motor with double shaft so you can see the difference. We need to put a new tape on the wheel since the last tape blew off. You can super glue the tape onto the wheel so that you can test higher RPM motors. Now you can see, the real box stock motor RPM on the double shaft is 14,775 RPM. For fun, let's test the cheater motor one more time.
As you can see, the cheater motor is up to 24,294 RPMs and throws the tape off at the wheel again.